Hey guys, Kim Kim back from a video today, and today we're going to be playing Subnautica. Subnautica is a game that, uh, hasn't necessarily recently released, but is free this month on the PlayStation Store. So, I'm just going to be making a Let's Play on it, since I've seen a lot of people do Let's Plays on it prior to it becoming free to play, and it was the demo, so I was like, why not see the entire thing? Uh, playing this game for a long time, and I'm honestly pretty fucking excited. <laughs> Fixing the problem, make all the other parts of the series the same. Length is this, this one, so this all my videos probably won't be around be around an hour. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna make. I paused the game at intervals and making it. Oh no. I think this game takes place in 2020. Top right of the screen. Six sevens, one seven. Last time this game was updated in the patch notes or out in some other distant galaxy, this fucking game's at. And we are on fire. Oh. Fire. This tat last being no key, I'm surprised this thing fucking survived. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. That's fucked. Water. Came from that thing. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Should have got a Nissan. Oh, okay. So that's broken. Flashlight, not have to have builder. That looks like a lot of shit, so I think first order of business is to fix this thing up so we can't be living in it. I mean silicon rubber. Outside the ocean and stuff. What the fuck is that? 
Add this out. Well, we got a little oxygen bubble thing. Oxygen. Turn this music off. the music. That's the music so far. Lock my mouth. That's not terrifying. No way. Huh. I think this fire hydrant can push me. Oh, it can. That's cool. Ah, I should probably be saving some. I have a nutrition. Bought myself off. Oxygen. <sighs> I'll use this thing whenever I need to get up. Same cave that we were. Oh, caves. That's something. I need. I don't really want this to be in my... I need like silicon rubber, right?
find C closet. I guess what's gonna look for like spiny thing. About to look for a yellow. Hi, hi, low there. I'm gonna come clap my cheeks. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just made the water a whole lot warmer. grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. I don't mean to click that. <laughs> what fucking planet is that? Unless that's like a moon. I think it is. Watch this as I can, I guess. I should have the stuff to make a repair tool. I know that's cool. Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Rescue operation unit dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. What other shit can I make with this? Knife. I should probably get back out the materials I just put away. <laughs> Fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I was saying that I have something. I can change like the color. I want something that would stick out in the ocean so red. Alright, uh Okay, yeah, no, I think this it's already nighttime. I don't know, that has to be this plant's moon. That is what I saw earlier. That's close. Like that? Nah. Ah. Ah, okay. Idea.
I mean, I already have like a little HUD thing to tell me where it's at. Discovered. What the hell is that thing? Oh. Maybe they're scared off by the why. I love this Pokemon. What the hell? Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. What are these things? Why is the rass so big? So funny about that. Like them. They have a big nose and a big butt. New creature discovered. <laughs> Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. But plausible, detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component Oxygen. of the repair tool. Sound of that. I'm coming. I'm going back. Fuck that. It's already daytime. <sighs> I would say why, but the better question is why the hell am I complaining? I actually throw this thing like a boom. Toss it back in the water. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. There's Oxygen. glowy things I have to come back. A lot of things I can't pick up, so I wonder if I, if I don't have the room for that. <laughs> Actually, I just had an idea. Find one more of those things. Nothing. Sea glide. Oxygen. Sounds pretty cool. you fucking big two-eyed freak uh. things keep this thing afloat oh yeah the god fucking float is there Oxygen. I have to get like those little things from the rough of the wild.
going to make all the titanium. And that was all the titanium, my goodness. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Actually, I think I saw something I could do with the bladder fish, but I don't know. What I need way more fucking store. Sorry, got those. This thing. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, I think we'll cut it off for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.